Hey, what's up? Hello. How are you, my beautiful, beautiful people? Um, my name is Brittany, and I am coming to you. I guess would this be live? Um, I used to post on here, but now I've decided I've gotten a lot of inspo from TikTok. And I decided, why not try this again? Um, a little bit about me. My name is Brittany, obviously. Um, I'm from Memphis. And, um, you know, I'm just a regular, regular, smegular girl. Just living her best life. And um, I love everything beauty fragrance fashion and you probably will see all that on my channel so i decided to start this video off with um with fragrance sorry i won't, I won't blink for a minute with fragrance um these are my top fragrances for summer transitioning to fall so i decided to let you guys see what i smell like on a regular day basis i don't know if that was weird or not but anyway so these are my top sorry um listening for my dog So these are my top six. And I pretty much have the same kind of theme going on with my um, fragrances. They're all kind of flor spicy florals, if you will. So I have, I'll show you guys. I have notes because I'm prepared. And so, um, the first one I have is my Gucci Guilty Love. Um, I bought this a couple of, if you don't know, I work in retail. But I bought this last year, close to last year, a couple of months ago. I'm not sure. Time run, goes by fast, so... So, um, yeah, but I bought this, uh, recent, not recently, but I've had it in family for a while. And, um, the notes on this bad boy are Necretius Flower, Musk, and Patchouli Prisma. All things I have no clue about, but they smell amazing. I will say one thing with this perfume, this top is very light, but they all, but with all these fragrances, they last long. And that's why I appreciate, I hate a, when you get a fragrance and they don't last more than an hour. Like that shit pisses me off, especially for the money you, you, um, you pay for fragrance, I need this shit to last like eight hours. Like, it's still on some of my clothing. I'll show you guys the spritz tips. Very clean, very warm, very spicy. I forgot to bring, um, to write down the prices, but if you go on like Sephora or Ulta, they will definitely give you the prices. This is where I got the um, notes from. So that's number one. Number two is this curvy, bodacious babe right here. This is, it was very hard to pick one, which one was one and which one is two. Because they all kind of, they all have a special place in my heart. But, um, you know, this one, this one has definitely become 
a favorite of mine. Like, I smelled this one time and became obsessed. And I have been rocking with this ever since. This literally has, will stay on you all day, every day. All day. You don't need a lot either. But this is called Jimmy Choo I Want You. And it's a warm, spicy, like all of them pretty much are. And the top notes are mandarin juice and velvet peach. The middle are red, spicy lily and jasmine. And the base is um, vanilla. Now, normally, if you know me, I don't fuck with spiders. But for this, for this red sp spider lily... We can, we can be associates because this is just, it just smells so, so good. You can definitely smell the mandarin and the peach, the peach. You can definitely smell the peach and I love that. You know, anything fruity and floral, I'm your girl. I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna be purchasing that. And um, on that note, number three, rounding this out would be Miss Daisy, Miss Mark, Mr. Mark Jacob Daisy. Ooh. And this is um, Daisy Love. This is the Daisy Love Days. There's like three of these specific ones, so you have to be, I'm being specific, this is the days. Because I can't remember the other ones, they all smell different. So this one is a fruity floral. And um, the notes are apricot, semanthesis, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, probably not, and golden amber. And these are, again, the smells, it gives you the vibe. I always like to um, pair this with like a vanilla body lotion, but again, they all, I spray it on my skin, keep it moving, keep it pushing. I walk back and forth constantly get stopped and asked what am I wearing and I always have to remember it it's funny like anytime somebody asks me what I'm wearing I always blink like I don't wear the same fragrances over and over again I don't know why I just do so back to what I was doing um the next one in my notes because I'm a professional is Miss Valentino. Oh, Miss Born and Romana. The fragrance that Lupita, Miss Lupita, did the campaign for and rock just killed. This is a Lupita uh, fragrance every time I um, see it because I don't, it's Lupita. And if you were wondering, I always end up getting 1.7 ounces. I never get the 3.0 ounces because I don't think I'll use all that. These are all 1.7 or 1.1, 1.0, not 1.1. But um, yeah, look, I've had this for four months in it. And it's been sprayed, so don't is no one two I usually spray like three or four like I hit the the pressure points and sometimes I hit my neck and I you know like that TikTok <laughs> when it's like spraying 17 times that basically me but for this one it's a floral it's a the notes are black currant, jasmine, grandy florum, and bourbon vanilla. I don't know what a grandy florum is, but it's bomb. It definitely 
so sexy, so spicy, so what every girl needs in their collection. If you're someone that's obsessed with scents, you need that. It It's definitely been on everybody's top. And it's for a reason. Um, the second to last, Miss Flower Bomb. This is Flower Bomb Midnight. I didn't get the Spicy Bomb. Or no, Spicy Bomb is men's. The Flower Bomb is the woman's. I didn't get that because I just didn't. But, um... I do like the Flower Bomb, but this is more of a, to me, I think Flower Bomb has become very kiddish. It's become very middle school scent. No shade to anyone who loves Flower Bomb, but it's very, like, something, if I had a little sister, she would definitely wear it. This is more grown up, very, um... Freshman and college assistant professor, Mrs. Robertson, like what you would take, what you would wear on a date. Like, this is definitely date night approval. I don't wear it this often because, it, I don't know, sometimes it can pull nighttime. I get nighttime vibes. Maybe it's the bottle, maybe it's the element every time I smell it. It's definitely musky. But, the, yeah, you could definitely smell the musk in this. But it's strong and it stays current. And the last but not least is Miss Giorgio Armani. My way, my way, my way. Definitely, definitely a throwback. Not from the TikTok, but from Usher. If you're a 90s baby, you know. You know what I'm talking about. But this is the bottle. This is a 1. Point, I keep wanting to say 1.1. 1. 1. It's 1.0. But um, this is definitely... This one... Sorry, it, I'm in the office. Um, this one is a special one. A special... This is my first fragrance I ever bought when I start working where I'm working. So this one is kind of like a little nostalgic whenever I I um, wear it. Like my first grown up scent. So the notes are orange blossom and vanilla. And you smell them. It sounded like it's thundering outside. We don't have time for that. Yeah. All the spritzers are super, super powerful. And my office is going to smell like perfume. But, you know, you, you, it costs to live like this. As, what's her name? I can't remember her name, but she's from Memphis. She's from Tennessee. I love her. But, yeah, this is my, um...